occasionally you need to do a find and replace where what you're looking for you're not quite sure but you know some of the characters so for example here you'll see we've got a salesperson code and all we're interested in is this SP002 but for some reason in this column we've got a bracket and then various numbers and you can see they're not consistent some are the same but generally speaking it's very hard to find now for example all the bracket 38233 brackets and replace them because there are other ones so that's when you can make use of something called wildcard characters so let's just go and first get our find and replace and now it wants to know what to find now we know it must find opening bracket sorry and before I forget this let's just clear I've done some formatting here so what we're saying is we need to look for the bracket now the problem is what must it look for in between I know that I want a closing bracket but if I search for that there is nothing here that has opening bracket closing bracket so you can in between that tell Excel if I put a star there that's a wildcard character what I'm telling Excel is that it starts with the opening bracket then there's something in between and then it closes with a closing bracket a star means that you're not sure what it is and you don't know how many characters there are I'm gonna replace it with I'm gonna replace it with nothing so I'm just gonna leave that blank and what I can do again just good practice I'm gonna highlight that first so when I say replace all you'll see it's gone and done all the replacements because it, it was looking for bracket something bracket and replacing it with nothing let's just undo this there is also another wildcard character and that is a question mark the difference with a, with a question mark though is I'm going to say there's an opening bracket a question mark represents an unknown character but it's only one character so if I did this what it would do is it would not find anything because there is no place here where you have a bracket one number and then a closing bracket so in this case as it turns out these have five numbers there I can say put five question marks and a closing bracket so now being a lot more specific I'm saying there must be a bracket there must be five unknown characters and then a closing bracket again I'm going to replace it with nothing let's see if it works and again you see it goes and does exactly what you said and this is particularly useful where there's something in here that has a starting character and an ending character but in between we're just not sure what will be there